In this Resolve 15 slash 16 tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can remove an object using Resolve 16 or 15's Fusion tab without having to use the new object removal tool that they uh, made available in Resolve 16. You have to have the uh, studio version to use that, which is well worth the $300, but if you want to stick with the free version, this is a way you can use uh, still from your uh, video clip that doesn't have the object in it. So I could right now say if I want to remove this woman with her umbrella from this frame, I could take a frame from a later point when she's not in that area, and then I can actually use the uh, paint clone tool in Fusion to remove her. And then I just have to go frame by frame and remove her, and then just change the spot to remove her from all the frames she's in. This is best for if the object's only gonna be in your scene for maybe a few frames or maybe a second or two, because it is a little bit tedious. But if you have something, just kind of say if you had this news uh, paper flew into the scene for like five frames and then blew away, you could use this technique to remove that uh, quite quickly actually. So, so start off with, have your footage that you want to use, that you want to remove the object from, put that on your timeline, and then switch over to the Fusion tab and then get to the frame where you're going to want to remove the object, or at least start removing the object. So I'm just going to move back here. You know, in this one, I want to go to frame 145. And make sure your media in is selected. And then you're going to hit the paint tool. And you put that by hitting 1, put that in the first viewer here. You can look up here and see that that's paint is in the left viewer and media out's in the right. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have just stroke selected here so you left click on that and once you do that you're going to want to come over to modifiers left click on that and then we're also going to kind of solo uh, this viewer so because we don't need to see this one right now so if you hit this button right up here it'll make a single viewer and then i can also rearrange this and drag this down so i have more room to see what i'm doing Okay, so you want to make sure we're at right now on stroke one. Now, every time uh, we are painting in this mode, every time you left your, uh, you, you click down, you hold your button, the left mouse button, and paint. As soon as you let go, you're going to be creating a new stroke. So you probably want to do this all in one stroke. You don't need to, but just it's a little easier that way. And especially if you want to move uh, the object from several frames, you could use one stroke per frame to paint out the object. But I'm just going to come over here to the inspector here and open up all these, toggle all these open so I can see all my different settings. So the first thing you want to do is make sure under apply controls, apply mode, you have it set to the second one here, clone, looks like two paintbrushes. So you'll left click on that and that gives you your options for the clone mode. So what we're going to be doing here is again, uh, we're going to be using a, a still source, a still frame from this video clip as the source, but just from a later frame. So I know that uh, this woman with the umbrella at frame uh, 175 is totally uh, out of that area. So I'll go forward here. So I'll go back to 145. So we want to come down here where it says uh, still source, your inspector, and left click and select that. And you want to come down right below that to source time and type in the frame you're going to be painting from. That's going to be the source that you're cloning from. So you type in 175, hit enter, and then the next step you want to do is there's under the very bottom of this section it says source tool. So you want to left click and hold on your media in and drag that over to source tool, let go, and then that gives the same clip will be the source as well as what you're painting on. And then you'll see that the paint brush here is a circle with an X in it. And it basically allows you to select where you're going to be uh, cloning from when you're doing your painting. So you want to make sure that your uh, paint one is in the first viewer here and you see it up here so you can see what you're painting on. So when you're ready, you're going to try to do this in just one stroke and you can also increase the size over here and the softness. I want to bring the softness down a little bit. You want to keep a little softness so it kind of blends in with the surrounding area. You want to increase the size a little bit. But once you're ready, just left click and hold and then just start painting over and you'll paint out the object. So just keep on going along and remember to keep your 
it's best to just keep this all in one stroke. So keep the left mouse button clicked the entire time. And paint out the entire object. And there we go. And when you're done, just release. And now for that frame, that object is painted out. Now if you use your arrow keys and move forward a couple frames, you can see that now you can start seeing that object again if it's moving through the scene. And also if I move back a few ones, you can see it beforehand. So say, uh, again, like an example I made where, say, a newspaper blew in for like five or ten frames and blew out of frame, and you want to remove that, you just go forward. So I'll show you that here. Go forward one frame, and you just do the same thing. Left click hold, they'll create a new stroke, and you just paint out what's showing up. Then you can go forward another frame and do the same thing. Just paint out the new areas. In this example, I'll do one or two more frames. Just to give you an idea. And go one more frame. Okay, now here now I'm left clicking and holding down for each stroke. And you can see your strokes here on the right side. So each individual stroke has its own settings. That's stroke six, that was the last one I did, and there's stroke five. And if you make a mistake, you can just click on either, any one of these. And it hits, and now if I hit delete, that will remove that stroke, and I'd have to redo it again. And this here is showing the path of that stroke. But now if I wanted to continue again, I'd have to hit the stroke button again to start up. This should be good enough for this tutorial. So now if I move back a few frames, so I started at 145. So now if we go back 48, 47, 46, and 45, see that object's removed. But if I go beyond the point where I painted it out and did the clone, then you can see the woman coming back into frame. So I'll just continue to paint her out. Now, the original source I'm using for this is about 175. So at that point, I would have to choose, say, a different area. So she's going to be, say, in front of this tree. I'll use a different source from an earlier time, maybe 20 or 30 frames earlier, where she's not in front of the tree, and use that as a source to so switch it from frame 175 to, say, frame 145, and then continue to do the uh, clone brush to paint her out and that would allow to paint her out uh, from the entire scene here. But that's the basics of how you can use uh, a different frame, kind of as a kind of a clean plate without shooting a clean plate, to remove an object. And this is also available again for Resolve 15 and 16 uh, in the free version. Now there's a kind of an automated way that was uh, introduced in Resolve 16, the object removal tool, which is really great if you have the full studio version. But this is a way that's uh, not too complicated that you could do it in the free versions. So, hopefully you found this video useful, and I thank you for watching.